it's coming soon active which means it is not yet published so the first thing you will see it says please configure your google analytics settings so click into there Connect Google Analytics plus WordPress. So we're going to connect the Monster Insights. It'll take you to sign in to Google. Sign in to the Google that you want to connect this website to. It will then ask you, do you allow Monster in insights.com to edit Google Analytics, manage entities, view and manage your Google Analytics data, view your ad sets data, view and manage your search console data. And you will have to allow this in order to set it up. You need to make sure that you are signed in. You will then see Connect Google Analytics to your website. It will show your website here and then Complete Connection. Tracking. And also you can use the configuration wizard to properly set up Google Analytics with WordPress. So launch setup wizard. Publisher blog. It's saying you're using the Monster Insights Lite, no license meeting needed. So it already says here I have an active profile. I can reconnect the Monster Insights, skip and key and keep connection. So I'm just going to reconnect. So it's reauthorizing. This is just to make sure that it has the proper information. It says recommended settings. So, Monster Insights recommends the following settings based on your configuration. Events tracking. It's already enabled. This is just administrator information for you. Save and continue. Now this is where it says you can upgrade if you want. I'm just going to save and continue.
awesome, you're already set. Finish setup, exit wizard. This is the fastest and easiest way in using, in setting up your Google Analytics is to use the setup wizard. Left hand side, settings. Left hand side, settings. Site title. Now, this is where you can change your title if you want to. Here is the tagline. You can change your tagline. This is the URL if you ever need to find that information. Uh, this is the site address, your email address. Now this is important where it says membership. Make sure you click anyone can register. New user default role and you have a number of choices. The best one is the subscriber, your language, the time zone, the date format that you would like to see used, the time format that you would like to see used, your week starts on, default post, post category and right now it's on an uncategorized and you can add more categories later. Default post format. It's on standard right now but you have a different post formats that you can use. This is if you want to post by email, you can set this up. Just follow these directions here. When you publish a new post, WordPress automatically notice, notifies the following site update services. So you can also add new site update services here, save changes, always make sure to save your changes, reading, your page displays your latest post or a static page. Now I usually choose a static page so in which the static page is a home page. Right now it is a sample page and then your post page will be your new posts show up on your static page blog pages to show at the most 10, syndication feeds show the most recent 10. For each article in a feed, show either the full text or a summary. I usually do pick full text, however you can pick summary as well. And also 
search engine visibility. Discourage search engines from indexing the site. Well, right now, we don't want the search engines to index the site because it's not yet ready or published. And then save the changes. This is where you have default article settings, attempt to notify any blogs linked to from the article, allow link notifications from other blogs, pingbacks, and trackbacks on new articles, allow people to post comments on new articles, and you can either check these or uncheck them. Comment author must fill out name and email. You would check this when you want people to leave their name and email. Users must be registered and logged in to comment. And because this is a membership site, you would click yes. Automatically close comments on articles older than 28 days. Show comments, cookies, opt-in checkbox, allowing comment author cookies to be set. So what this means is that the person who has left the comment, if they choose, can then get a cookie, which will then allow them to keep up to date with what is going on in the comment thread. Enable threads, nested comments five levels deep. Break comments into pages with 20 top level comments per page and the last page displayed by default. Comments should be displayed with the older comments at the top of each page or you can choose the newer comments at the top of each page. Receive an email whenever anyone posts a comment or comment is held for moderation. Before a comment appears, the comment must be manually approved. You can click that if you want to manually approve every comment. Comment author must have, must have a previously approved comment. So you want to unclick that until you get start getting comments in and then you can click this if you need to. So comment moderation. You can hold a comment in a queue if it contains two or more links. This is just because it is a common characteristic of spam. When a comment contains any of these words in its content, name, URL, email, or IP address, it will be held in moderation queue. You can also comment blacklist, which means when a comment contains any of these words in its comment, name, URL, email, IP address, it will be put in the trash. So any words that you put in here will automatically go into the trash. So I normally don't use that. An avatar is an image that allows you from the weblog to weblog appearing beside your name. So this is an avatar right there. So show avatars, your maximum rating is suitable for all audiences. Now here you can choose the mystery person, a blank, Gravatar logo, Identicon, Wavatar, Monster ID, or Retro. So that means that a person that does not have this avatar will show this. And then save the changes. Now, this
this is where you decide because you are making a membership site you decide on what your sizes are now if you are hosting your own website you want to make sure that you do not put too large sizes for people to be able to upload that will break your site so thumbnail size is 150 and the height is 150 pixels you can also change it to 250 and 250 Here you can crop thumbnail to exact dimensions. Normally thumbnails are proportional, which means that either 250, 250, 150, 150, 100, 100. The medium size is 300 and the maximum is 300. And the large size is 1024 by 1024. Organize my uploads into month and year based folders. So, save your changes. So, next is your permalinks. When you are having a membership site, you have to make sure that this is your permanent your permalink right here, which is your post name. And also here is your category base. So you want to make sure that you have some categories in here. So I want to put my membership. Site, and then I am going to save the changes. So now you have more of a choice here when you are when somebody is looking for a category, this is what is going to come up first, the membership site. Uh, next is privacy. Privacy policy page. Okay, so here you have something that is a draft. You can preview it, you can edit it, I usually just use this page. You can also create a new page. But it mostly has all the information that you need for your privacy policy, unless you do want to change it. So this ends tutorial number one, which is setting up your WordPress for a membership site. The next tutorial is installing the Ultimate Member plugin.